To bring you up to speed this afternoon on other stories that we've been working on, investigators say a fleeing theft suspect was struck and killed by a vehicle on Interstate 10. While running to try and avoid capture, take a look at what we saw from Sky 12. Phoenix police telling us that the suspect had been a passenger in a stolen car that crashed Wednesday night after failing to pull over. Police arrested the 22 year old driver after the crash, but the passenger ran off and was hit westbound in the traffic on I-10 where he was killed. Westbound I-10 was closed for several hours before it was finally reopened early this morning. A bill has passed both the House and Senate at the state capitol, making it against the law to use handheld cell phones while you're driving in our state. That bill is on the governor's desk waiting to be signed. He has said in the past that he would sign that measure. Arizona is just a handful of states that does not restrict cell phone use to combat distracted driving. Investigators say they have determined that an eight year old girl's fall from a moving vehicle onto I-10 in the far West Valley last week was an accident. Arizona Department of Public Safety says interviews revealed that the child unbuckled her seat on April 9th and was moving in the passenger area of a van when she accidentally grabbed the sliding door handle, causing it to open. The girl then fell onto Interstate 10 in Buckeye and was critically injured. A pregnant woman arrested during Country Thunder accused of driving under the influence of drugs. Pinal County uh, deputies pulled over 28 year old Sarah Genove for speeding. Deputies say the pregnant woman from Flagstaff was showing signs of impairment inside her car. Deputies found several bags of suspected drugs, including pot, LSD, heroin, MDMA and cocaine. A reported case of measles in Yuma is now said to be a case of strep instead. Earlier today, the Yuma Sector Border Patrol reported that an eight year old Guatemalan girl had measles. However, late this afternoon, the Arizona Department of Health Services tells us the girl does not have measles. According to Border Patrol, the eight year old and her father were part of a group of 39 people who recently illegally crossed into the U.S. and are being detained. National Enquirer is being sold to the former head of the airport newsstand company Hudson News. Tabloid owner American Media says it is selling the supermarket weekly to James Cohen. The deal comes after a rocky year for the tabloid in which it was caught up in a federal probe of illegal campaign contributions to President Donald Trump's campaign in 2016. This Saturday, you can visit any one of the country's national parks for free. It's all to help kick off National Park Week, which runs April 20th through the 28th. But again, the free entry to places like the Grand Canyon is this Saturday. Arizona has joined a growing number of states that allow lottery winners to stay anonymous. Governor Doug Ducey signed the legislation yesterday. It allows winners of jackpots of $100,000 or more to request that their names not be made public. Currently, winners can stay private for just 90 days. All right.